So the title of this video is, um, why did my rotator cuff tear? I get this question very frequently in my office. And really there's, there's two tiers here, right? I think when someone falls and they injure their rotator cuff, uh, it's pretty obvious why it tore, you know, they, they had an injury, but at least 95% of my patients who have a torn rotator cuff, they had no injury. Uh, they just started developing a shoulder that ached and they come in, we look at their shoulder, we ultrasound them, or maybe they've had an MRI, uh, and, and it shows a tear and they want to know how did this happen? I don't remember an injury. And so uh, the vast majority of rotator cuff tears are chronic, meaning the tendon just wears out and tears. And people want to know well, how did this happen? And some of the analogies that I give patients are, uh, you know, have you ever seen a person go bald in their early 20s? Have you ever seen a person in their early 30s have gray hair? Have you ever seen a, a you know, a, a 15 year old kid with glasses, right? So all these things, um, uh, you know, we all age at different at different levels, right? And if I were to go take a, a group of 1,000 people that were uh, 100 years old, right, or 90 years old, and ultrasound their shoulders, uh, at least 80% of them would have rotator cuff tears. If I were to go take 1,000 10-year-old kids and ultrasound their shoulder, none of them would have rotator cuff tears, right? It's extremely rare, almost never, right? So that's what happens. And, and, and why do certain people get them sooner than others? Uh, we, we think it's likely due to a ge genetics, right? So it's your age and your genetics, your age and your genetics. So some people get rotator cuff tears in their 40s, some in their 50s, some 60s, some never. Some people get small rotator cuff tears and they never see a doctor because they don't hurt. But um, really it's a combination of your age and more importantly, your genetics. Um, that's what causes most rotator cuff tears. And, and, and why do some people genetically get them? We think it has to do with blood flow and vascularity, and some people maintain the blood flow to that tissue a little bit better across their lives.